Depot men accidentally repoed the home of the wrong person, a woman by the name of Nikki Bailey of Logan, West Virginia. Apparently, they went into her home when she wasn't there. She lives on Colby Heights, but they were actually supposed to repo the home of someone who lived on Goldby Street. And uh, when they went in there, they literally took everything except for a dresser um, and a chest of drawers and a mirror. Um, now, all of that stuff was actually still in the repo truck, but the majority of the other items were already trashed. So she goes in and she was obviously upset about it. She's like, I, you guys got the wrong person. I've paid my bills. In fact, I paid off my home 25 years ago. What are you guys doing? Well, it turns out that they were totally unapologetic for doing it. They refused to name the bank that foreclosed on the uh, original home. And the thing that sucks the most is prosecutors refuse to go after the repo company. Now, the repo company is CTM Industries, and this is an insane story because, I mean, where is the justice? Now, she is trying to sue for restitution, and we'll see if she actually wins, but the fact that she has to go through this headache and the bank in question here you know, refuses to name itself and face the consequences is just ridiculous. So there's a couple of things that drive me crazy about this. Uh, the repo guys were like, ah, we threw all your stuff away because it was junk and we trashed it. Now, wait a minute. The whole point is it, she couldn't pay her bill. They thought it was a, an accident, right? Then you're supposed to collect the stuff, presumably, what, to sell it and to make money off of it so you can pay the bill she didn't pay. But it's not about that. It's vindictive. It's to punish them. It's to say, know your place. Like, we're going to come in here, and we're going to trash your house. Some of the stuff they threw away was like her diploma and uh, things that she got for being a teacher. Like uh, her She won an award for being a really good teacher, and that's gone. Now, it, why me, even repo that, let alone throw it in the garbage? It's so stupid. Because it's the Hunger Games. Because it's to say, like, oh, yeah, if you didn't pay your bills, then we're going we're gonna to show you who's boss, okay? So Nikki Bailey said the following, everything was gone, living room furniture, my Marshall diploma, my high school diploma, my pictures, my history. I was teacher of the year. All of that stuff is gone, certificates from that. It's all gone. It, to me, it almost feels like this is what you deserve for not paying your bills. Now, of course, that if you didn't pay your bills, it could be considered a mistake, right? Now, in this case, the bank made a mistake. They sent them to the wrong address, which was, by the way, in a totally different city, 10 miles away from that house. So are they going to pay for their mistake? Well, the prosecutors say, no, 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 no. If you're rich, you're above the law. You know, if you're, and it's not even in this case about being rich. I don't think the repo guys are rich. I mean, obviously, they're working for the bank, right? But it's about whether you're in power or you're not in power. The banks and the repo guys are part of the power structure. So they make a mistake. There are no repercussions. That's a sad day for you. Sorry, we trashed the living crap out of your house. And no, it's, there's no price to pay. You make a mistake, we're going to destroy everything you have. So it's, it's sick. And, and, and the prosecutor's excuse is, well, look, man, if, if you accidentally picked up the wrong bag at the airport, we wouldn't arrest you for that. Well, we might if you pick up the bag and then realize it wasn't yours, and then you trash the hell out of it, and you cut it up, and you took the stuff you wanted and threw the rest in the garbage. Yeah, that's destruction of property. We charge you. Mm -hmm. Of course, we charge you only if you were poor. If you were part of the power structure, we'd say you're free to go. I think the craziest part about all of this is you never know when something like this can happen to you. And we've done so many stories where there's just no justice after these accidents happen to you. I mean, we did that story about that couple in Lancaster um, where these a SWAT team goes in and raids the home and they, they raided the home of the wrong couple and they just went in shooting, okay? The, the, the you know authorities went in uh, and they shot about 15 times. 10 of the gunshots hit the man. He lost his leg as a result and one shot hit the woman um, and, and you know thankfully neither one of them died. But it's just crazy that that type of stuff can happen to anyone at any time. And of course it disproportionately um, uh, inf uh, disproportionately uh, inf impacts people who are poor. Uh, but it's just, I mean, there's no freaking justice. Yeah, and look, I've been in Logan, West Virginia, okay? And they, I'm positive they think, what's a woman in Logan, West Virginia going to do to us? And we do whatever the hell we want to her. She's just a teacher in Logan, West Virginia. Not, not uh, the richest place in America. Trust me on that, right? And they feel like, we got power over you. And, like, there's, there's no check left. In the old days, the check was the government. 
because the government was supposed to represent the people, right? There were plenty of people to represent the rich folks, the companies, the sheriff's department, etc., right? But the government was supposed to be our representatives. We've taken that check away, and now the people who have the power and the money have run amok. 